Hello guys, how are you? I hope you're doing great. Uh, so today we're going to do just the unboxing. I have some packages here. Actually, it's not that much. It's just one brand, two brands, but just one thing from one brand. Yeah, I just received this like one hour ago and I wanted to swatch this so bad, but I couldn't because otherwise it wouldn't be first impressions. So we're going to be swatching them together for the first time. Um, I had to open these because my packages had it rough, they were delivered in the middle of the Hurricane Ian So I had to check everything was not broken and everything was intact and luckily it is So now I just want to put my fingers in it, that's what she said And I've also brought with me a few things, why are you escaping my control? I also uh, picked up a few items for comparisons in case they might be helpful but yeah today will just be more or less about my excitement towards this product so without further ado let's get started I know I know I'm not that professional with my hair like this I just finished working out I'm wearing what I usually wear at home don't come for me okay this is my home you're invited for 15 to 20 minutes so don't that don't don't judge me, okay? Don't judge me. I'm going to have pizza, I am cozy, I, I'm about to have my period, you don't need to know that, but this is the reason why I haven't put any effort into my hair today. The first thing we're going to be starting with is this. This is a Kaleidos makeup, uh, where is it? Kaleidos Beauty? I don't know. This is a Kaleidos box. I didn't know it would come in a personalized, in a branded box, so very happy to see it. Everything was very well packaged and bubble wrap because Kaleido ships from China. Here's a sneak peek of the inside. Let's start with the lippies. There was, uh, there was an offer on the Kaleidos website where you could have uh, create your own bundle of four lipsticks. Uh, they have their liquid lipsticks. Uh, not proper lipsticks and you could choose the tin and you paid a uh, discounted price for four of them so I picked this tin just look at this this is so beautiful this is going to go on my library like like a showpiece I don't know this is very moody so I liked it I liked it Kaleidos is very very well known for their packaging so this is the first time I'm seeing them, so I have to say this it really as a reason. These are the four lip pieces I chose. We're going to go through them together. I actually uh, picked up three from this Moki Nostalgia collection and one from another previous collection. This component here. This is a soft touch uh, matte feel, like almost like a velvety texture. It's very nice to hold. And this one. I'm not sure, should I? Should I shake it? This is bare. I picked up a pink because the other shades are very much so browns. And here you can see. This is bare. Just a, a normal pink. Yeah, I know. Very descriptive, very helpful. Normal pink. That should be a shade name, shouldn't it? This is just something I can put on when I don't know what else to put on. And I thought I wanted to give a try to their uh, formula because it seems very moussey. I also love that appearance uh, that um, a few liquid lipstick give, where it doesn't seem like you have a lip line, like it's very blurred and soft. I like that. I like that stuff. Next one, it's called Skinship from the Smoky Nostalgia Collection. It's basically the same packaging, but this is a more grayish, um, more grayish purple. Skinship is a nude. It should be more of a neutral, maybe a bit of a cooler undertone. So this here is Skinship and this one is bare. As you can see, the difference, Skinship is much more brown toned than bare but it's also very pale and neutral so also a very quick shade to throw on when you don't want to think about it too much next shade is called cold smoke this is one i'm very excited about because well it's a cool toned brown and i love browns i love me some browns the last one is cold smoke looks very deep on my skin but this this is just 
it's normal for me. And then the last one is cognac, cognac. I don't know how, how it's pronounced in English, okay? It's cognac in, in Italian. This is like a brownish red. It looks, what do I watch this? Like here. This is very sexy and deep and I can't wait to play with this. Don't think I have any other shade like this. These were the lip shades I picked up and next I'm going to uh, show you, I picked up an eyeliner uh, from their newest collection, it's called the Night of Creation collection and the eyeliner is called Night of Creation so it must be the, the piece or the shade that inspired the whole collection. Here is the packaging. It's purple. It has some shifts, which is makes sense because this is a multi-chrome and this should be like a purpley magenta. It also has some gold. I don't know, this will be very difficult to pick up on camera, but let me try swatching it. This is Night of Creation and uh, it shows purple on camera. Uh, I when I look at it, it's it's fuchsia. So I'm not sure how to show it. Yeah, I don't think I don't think I would be able to show this. Unfortunately, this looks beautiful. It looks beautiful. I can't wait to play with it. And I bought it because I don't have a purple eyeliner like this. I don't have a multi-chrome eyeliner. So I wanted one and two of them were calling Manet, which was this one and Solaris, which is a red to green. But I think that purple is maybe more wearable. Uh, when you want to start with a multi-chrome, maybe purple is a bit more approachable if you're not used to them. So I went for this. Let's stick with the Night of Creation collection. I bought the Flowing Haze palette and this there were two of these palettes in this collection, but uh, one of them was more um, more colorful. <laughs> so I picked something that I think is good for me and my taste. This is the Flowing Acid. This is very soft. And when I opened this to check if it was broken, I was surprised at how heavy this part is. It's very heavy. Anyways, this is the Flowing Gaze palette. And this is very cold, purpley tones. Also, a bit remind me a bit of the 90s. And this shade here is a multi-chrome or a duochrome. It's like shifts from purple to gold. There's a bit of green here as well. Let's swatch this because I can't wait. Everybody's talking about Kaleidos formula and I can definitely see why. This is like touching like touching velvet. I'm going to swatch this here. It's a very cool tone shade. This is the shade base. So yeah, it makes sense as a base. It's not that deep. Then we have, I'm going to swatch all the mattes. Then we have Diffuse. Oh, this is a imprint on it. I don't want to, I don't want to disrupt that. So here is Diffuse. And it's basically the same shade, but deeper and a bit more purple. By the way, this is the type of browns that I love. I think I figured it out that I like mauve browns. I think I didn't notice until lately that what I like is browns with purple. So I'm happy I figured it out. <laughs> then we have Accentuate. It's a deeper one of the palette. Wow, this is very pigmented. Just look at that swatch. One swipe swatch. And then there is Radiate, the duochrome. Oh, this looks beautiful. Look at that shine. Unfortunately, doesn't really pick up the shift, but you can see how reflective that is. Well, my light is so, so bright. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to adjust that. I think this is a bit better. Not the best, I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, but you can see 
the very top two shades are more like uh, on the brown side and the bottom ones are more purpley but this one again i see this one as a green gold which is so cool we have the black jasmine palette all right i was expecting the other one that's fine this is the black jasmine oh this is the other packaging by the way which looks beautiful like look inside the attention to detail is incredible and this is the palette here and this is also a very sexy palette so it fits very well this is the black jasmine palette and it is the the palette you want to have if you are interested in doing a quick smoky a traditional smoky let's actually swatch this let's start with base this is a this is a rose imprint i definitely don't want to be touching that but anyways i'm going to try and swatch it here so hopefully you can see it better this is the shade base it's a pale gray then we have diffuse which is a deeper gray and then we have the matte black which i'm a bit scared of this is accentuate and look at how pigmented this looks i don't think i have a black like this it's uh, incredibly black and deep so definitely need to be careful with this a little bit goes a long way so be careful and let's check out the shimmer shade the radiate shade which is a silver oh look at this as well beautiful this is a stunning palette stunning next and last palette for kaleidos is the cold brew palette it has the same packaging as the black jasmine palette and i'm guessing the inside will be different yeah it is different it seems to have like these butterflies this is cold brew and this is black jasmine cold brew is a neutral lover's dream just look at this palette and if you don't if you think this is boring I respect your opinion we have base which is a very pale brown very pale brown perfect for the transition diffuse which is you guessed it a deeper brown this is actually way deeper than I thought it was going to be like this already looks like a shade I could use for shading accentuate wow this 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 just watch like butter i'm very impressed and look at these tones so let's try out the star of the show radiate it looks like um like it, this uh, looks like a cool a cool tone sparkle which is interesting accompanied with neutrals look at that shine Oh my god, I can't play. I can't wait to play with these guys. That was all for Kaleidos. The last one, the last thing I have, I swear I'm going to let you go, is the new Celeste Nirvana palette from Pat McGrath. I was looking for the name of this one. I think this is Bronze Bliss. This is a sister palette, but I, I wanted this one only. The packaging is very nice. It's actually bigger than i thought it would be and in fact i have this natasha denona mini for comparisons this is bigger guys it's bigger but of course it doesn't have the same amount of eyeshadow that pat McGrath's palette usually have well this is a neutral but very very sultry palette actually so i'm going to show you this and you have to tell me if this doesn't scream New Year's Eve to you, 
like all I could think of were after I saw this announced is this is going to be my New Year's Eve palette. We have this one here, looks like a a gold, a champagne, more like a champagne. Very luminous though. Very luminous, but um, it is a metallic, just a metallic. <laughs> nothing out of the ordinary it's a metallic i'm not going to swatch the black just yet because i don't want to mess with my finger then we have this shade here oh wow okay this is a cream yeah this is a cream shadow this is not a normal eye shadow i understand what the others are saying this is incredible and i know this looks like a silver and people are describing it as a silver to me this looks like a, a silver that has a bit more of a gold base so it's not really that cool tone if you, I don't, i'm not sure if i'm making any sense not that cool tone it still has some some gold element to it which is what attracted me to it in the first place which, because i was looking for a shade like this but in comparison to this this other shade looks very gold <laughs> then we have the bronziest of them all i'm also a sucker for bronze that lean into brown because i love chocolatey looks the last shimmer it looks like a paler bronze, still like a bronze though. Yeah, definitely still a bronze. But more warm tone, maybe like um, like a rose gold. Last but not least, we're going to be trying out the black. So this is the black from Pat McGrath. This is watch great. Um, it's not that black, it's actually more like a gray. Let me try building it up a bit. Yeah, I still don't think this is a black. This is just charcoal. And uh, I appreciate that because it's the only matte in the palette. So it, can't, it couldn't have been a fully deep black. But just for shits and giggles, Let's compare it to the black in the Black Just Been palette from Kaleidos. Yeah, as you can see, these are very different types of black. The Kaleidos one is much more pigmented, but it also is more black. The Pat McGrath one is just a charcoal. Confirmed. Also wanted to compare, since we are here, the Pat McGrath silver with the Kaleidos one because they are different. I see them. I see it in the pen. Like, can you see the difference? The third shade from Pat McGrath and the second one from Kaleidos. In the pen, the Kaleidos one is already looking much more cooler toned. I'm going to be swatching it here next to the Pat McGrath black. And then I'm going to be swatching the Kaleidos silver which is less creamy I'm going to be applying it here yes, this there is a very big difference between these silvers which I'm actually glad because I was hoping that the Pat McGrath was more like a, a goldy silver so I'm very very happy with that. I wanted to check out the Flowing Gaze palette and compare it with the Wayne Goss Smoky, what is Smoky Quartz palette because there are a few similar tones, I thought. I think you can see what I mean here. There definitely are similar tones, so let's swatch them from Wayne Goss here. And the palest eyeshadow from Kaleidos, which is much softer and silkier. Okay, so Kaleidos is definitely more cool tone. This one here is Kaleidos, and this one here is the Wayne Goss. From Wayne Goss and from Kaleidos. Again, Wayne Goss, it's warmer than Kaleidos, which is 
definitely more purple. And then the last shade is um, a purple in both, but I think I see where we're going. The warmer one is Wingoss and the more purple one is Kaleidos. So these are definitely very different palettes, even though they might look similar at first glance. Yeah, guys, this will be it for today. I am going to go and enjoy my pizza, probably order it. I'm not sure what time is it, but I'm very, very happy with all the palettes I got. Like, I am in love with all of them. I don't know why I have an obsession with these smaller palettes. And the fact that Pat McGrath also is a smaller one, I love this. This is going to be my New Year's Eve palette. So, yeah, you know my plans now. Also, very excited to try the Multichrome Liner, to try the Lip Clays. Overall, very excited about this haul. I don't regret anything which is great it's great and this was all for today's video guys and thanks for sticking with me i hope this was helpful i don't know i just wanted to share my excitement for makeup because i love makeup i love new makeup I love playing with makeup I love talking about me you get the kiss to it um i had to interrupt this video because there was a cat that was coming into my home <laughs> And uh, yeah, anyways, I hope you have an amazing day and I will see you in the next video. Please do consider subscribing, liking, leaving a comment. Just anything you can do to help me with my channel would be really appreciated. Thank you and I hope to see you on the next one. Bye bye.